Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. A half wave antenna could be a dipole, could be an off center fed dipole, could be an end fed antenna. Uh, is there much difference between those three antennas? I prepared an animation. It's not perfect, but it'll help uh, show what I think happens with a half wave antenna. So let's talk about that after we watch the brief animation. It's only, I think, a minute and a half long. So here we go. An animation showing a half wave antenna. This is the first of three animations that I drew showing a half wave antenna. As shown, this is a half wave dipole being fed in the middle where the highest current occurs, also the greatest radiation and the lowest impedance. Impedance would be somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 70 ohms, depending on its configuration and its height above ground. Greatest voltage is at the ends of the wire. It's also the highest impedance. It's also the location of the least radiation. Greatest radiation occurs in the middle. If we slide the feed point to the left, it becomes an end-fed half-wave antenna. No counterpoise is needed doesn't need any kind of radials. It's a complete antenna. High current is in the middle. Highest voltage is at the ends. Highest voltage occurs at the feed point. Have an impedance somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 ohms or so. If we slide it over just a bit, we can drop that impedance to maybe 2,500 ohms. And this becomes an off-center fed dipole. Everything remains the same. The highest radiation occurs in the middle of the wire. The highest current occurs in the middle of the wire. The impedance at this point, as I said, is around 2,500 ohms. And again, no counterpoise is needed. No radios are needed. Let's take a look at those uh, animations. In particular, we're going to take a quick look at three still pictures from that I grabbed from the, uh, uh, from the video. So let me put that up on the screen now. Um, this was the first one. The... Uh, Regular dipole, center fed, works great. It's a terrific antenna. Uh, you can get a pretty good prediction of where the pattern is going to go. Um, it's also the basis for many, many antennas. For example, my Yagi antenna basically looks a lot like a dipole in the center, and it has a reflector and a uh, director. So basically, it is like three dipole elements. Um, as we look at this, high currents in the middle, uh, as is the feed point. The um, high current, or rather the high voltage is on the tips of the wire. If this was a vertical, uh, or was configured uh, with a 90 degree bend right at the feed point, and it was sitting on the ground, or maybe a few feet off the ground, um, Again, the high point, the uh, high voltage point would be the top of the vertical and the end of the radials. Um, maximum radiation does occur in the middle. Uh, this would do the same with uh, a vertical. Okay, let's look at one other picture here. So that's a brief view of uh, a standard half wave dipole. Okay, this uh, animation is, uh, okay, this frame from the animation shows, again, the high voltage, high current, maximum radiation, all in the same place. All we did was move the feed point down the wire, either from the, the uh, center out to a point where the impedance is somewhere around a couple thousand ohms. Um, again, it's a predictable antenna. Uh, if one leg was cut for, I don't know, pick a band, uh, let's say 20 meters and the other leg for 40, um, it might give you 40, 20, and 15 all with one wire. It's a terrific antenna for that. It does, has some neat tricks that can be done. Again, the high voltage is on the tips. Um, a little bit more difficult to feed as we get closer to the end of this wire. Uh, the uh, feeding of the antenna, the connecting of a coax, requires some uh, work. Uh, in this case, the impedance of the antenna would be around a couple thousand ohms, so it would have to have some kind of transformation 
to make a good connection to uh, coax, for example. And this is uh, clearly the most popular antenna today. Uh, can be used on POTA. Um, can be used in the backyard. Can be used in an apartment. It's an end-fed half wavelength antenna. Again, the current distribution is the same. The maximum radiation is at the same spot. The impedance at the end can be several thousand ohms. By that, I mean five, six thousand ohms, depending on how you're hooking it up and what you're doing with it. But um, it's a predictable antenna. Uh, many like it. Again, you don't need to have radials because this is a complete antenna. No radials are needed, no counterpoise. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs whatever. I'm Jim W6LG saying 73. See you the next time. Bye-bye.